Hello Divine Souls, welcome back. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. If you like the way I read and want to be a part of my tribe, please subscribe. And hello to all my returning subscribers. Thank you for rocking with me as always and thank you for supporting my channel. So let's get this collective message for this Twin Flame reading today. So I'm going to start off with my Journey of Love 2 deck. This deck can be found in my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box below. So let's see what's going on with the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminines right now. You have the end. So something is definitely over here. You are not currently with this person. There is a breakup. You guys are in separation. Your next card is long term. So it looks like someone wanted a long term relationship, but the other person was playing games. You also have Furious. This person caused you a lot of anxiety and stress. I feel like you gave this connection your all. You were very accommodating to this person. You bent over backwards. But there comes a time when you know that you're taking advantage of. And that's what this person was doing to you. Yeah, you have twin flame. This was an in and out connection. Your divine masculine was driving you crazy. There wasn't an equal give and take here. And therefore you had to refocus. Your Divine Masculine could have also been attached to someone else, which is why the long-term card is here. He was in a long-term commitment elsewhere while he was trying to run game on you is what I'm picking up. Yeah, you have Divine Connection. And at the bottom of the deck, you have Side Chick. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that confirmation. So with Divine Connection and Twin Flame, your Divine Masculine started to freak out about this connection because you want it long-term. You wanted a stable and committed relationship. He felt like you were too different. But the chemistry was unreal. There was a baby mother in the mix for some of you. And your divine masculine was just not ready to settle down. You had the single life. There could have also been a workplace affair here. You have work romance. And he was keeping a lot of secrets from you. That's why he was hot and cold. And that's why there were a lot of blocks in your connection. Because there was someone else with the side chick card. Some of you could have found hotel receipts. Some of you could have found lipstick. Some of you could have found text messages. Someone could have called you. But you definitely got some kind of receipts here. What else is going on, Holy Spirit? But yeah, there was a baby mother in the mix. Or if it wasn't a baby mother, there was some kind of workplace affair going on. You also have fake friend. For some of you, either by masculine could have slept with one of your friends. I'm also hearing a cousin. You also have short term. So your divine masculine came in this connection thinking that it was going to be a hit it and quit it. Here today, gone tomorrow type deal. And all he was looking for was a good time. Yeah, you have happy hour. He wasn't looking for something long term because he had other people on the side. I'm seeing up to two people. And for some of you, the third party could have been addiction, sexual addiction, drug addiction, yeah, the T. You got the T on your Divine Masculine. Something was revealed to you. Something came to light. Yeah, which is why you confronted him. And whatever you found out, Divine Feminines, whatever this confrontation was, caused this split. If you guys want to see what these cards look like, you can go on my Etsy shop. But there was some kind of jealousy going on in your connection. I don't know if it was between this fake friend or your Divine Masculine, but somebody was jealous of you. Or someone didn't want to see you guys together. You also have watching. Someone was watching this connection. And I feel like it's a group of people because on this T card, there's three people here. Or that just could signify a third party. But someone did not want to see this connection come together. You have a lot of haters, Divine Feminines. I feel like for some of you, you were close to someone and you were telling them all your business. And this person used all this information to their advantage. You also have times up. So this connection is over. And now you're doing you, Divine Feminines. It's all about self-love. You're focused on your finances and career. You guys could be moving. Your Divine Masculine could have also left you in a financial mess. You also have court documents here. Someone could be going through some legal issues or a divorce. But he was sneaky as fuck. And he was surrounded by a lot of temptations. Your Divine Masculine was a con artist. If he was talking, he was motherfucking lying. But he wants a reunion with you. He's thinking about you a lot. You have reflecting. For some of you, Divine Masculine could have been sexually fluid. In other words, he could have gone both ways. That could have been a secret as well. But he left you in despair. 
Yeah, you have the married card that came out. So that's why you're in despair because some of you found out that your divine masculine was actually married. Someone is also doing psychic and tarot readings on you. But you showed him unconditional love. And now that you're gone, divine feminines, not only is he reflecting on your connection, but he knows what he did was a big mistake. Now he's trapped in his head because he's realizing that he loves you. Or whatever situation that he went to, Divine Feminines, he's feeling trapped in that connection. It's not what he was hoping. It's not what he was expecting. And now he's wanting to come back with some kind of commitment. You have next level. You also have text or a phone call. Your Divine Masculine is wanting to talk to you. He's coming in very unexpected. You have the unexpected card. But for some of you, you have new relationship. You're in a new connection. And with the joy card, you're happy that you got out of that toxic situation. You're just glad that God got you out in the nick of time. A lot of you are going back to school or you're studying something. But I'm seeing a lot of manifestation going on. And your money is also looking good, Divine Feminines. All right, let's get some tarot cards on this reading. What is going on with the Divine Masculine right now? You have the tower and judgment. What did I tell you guys? Ain't shit working out for your divine masculine. There's something going on with court. You had the court documents card that came out. And judgment is all about court. You also had the unexpected card that came out and the tower is here. And that's all about something coming in very suddenly. Clarify the tower. You have the moon. So when your divine masculine comes back, there could be some kind of underhandedness going on here. Because the moon is all about secrets, but it could also be about fears. Clarify the moon. You have the eight of cups in the reversed. He wants a second chance, divine feminines. So with the moon, it's all about fears. Fearing to come forward. Because he knows that you're the high priestess. He knows that you're going to see right through his bullshit. He knows that you're smart and you're wise. And he also knows that he put you through hell with the tower. So he's having a lot of fears and anxiety about reaching out to you. Clarify the Eight of Cups in the reversed. Yup, like I said, the Five of Cups, he's having a lot of regrets. You had the Mistake card that came out. And you also have the Death card at the bottom of the deck, followed by Temperance. He doesn't want this to be over. With this Moon card and the Tower, your Divine Masculine is working on his Shadow side. Because the Death card is also about releasing old habits. So he is making some kind of change, especially with temperance being here. That's all about changes as well. And it's also about finding balance in his life. But in the meantime, he's sad about this breakup with the Five of Cups. He's drinking a lot too as well. But he wants a reconciliation with temperance. Clarify the Five of Cups. Yeah, the Four of Cups. He's sad. He's grieving. He's worried. And he also feels like this is a missed opportunity. You are the best thing that's ever happened to him. You have the Empress and the Star. Wow. This was a hard lesson. He wants a rebirth, Divine Feminines. He wants to rebuild this connection. And it looks like with the Star, the High Priestess, and the Temperance card, he's turning to his spiritual side. Clarify the Empress. Wow. You have the Lovers. Yes. He knows you guys are soulmates. He misses you, Divine Feminines. There's a lot of physical attraction here. There's a lot of chemistry. But the main thing about your connection, Divine Feminines, is that you guys connect on a spiritual level. That's why your bond is so strong. That's why you can't stop thinking about him and he can't stop thinking about you. Because this is no ordinary love. You both are in love with each other. But your divine masculine had to be hit with this tower for him to realize your worth. The star and the empress. Yes. Yeah, he knows he broke your heart with the three of swords and the ten of swords. Damn. This was a messed up situation, y'all. He did the most. Ten of swords, three of swords. That's why he's up in his fucking head with the hangman. Whatever he did to you, for some of you, it's unforgivable. And you're having a hard time moving on from this divine feminines. Yeah, for some of you with the Justice card, if you were married to your Divine Masculine, there's a divorce. But I'm definitely seeing separation and distance. Yeah, there was a third party, Three of Cups. And now he's realizing that you guys are Twin Flames with the Four of Wands. Yeah, there was a marriage here. And now that he's realizing that you guys are soulmates, 
he's wanting a reconciliation, which is why the Eight of Cups came out in the reversed. Yeah, he's moving on from his toxic lifestyle with the Three of Wands. He's planning on coming back. Yeah, he was definitely a hoe. You have the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Cups. He didn't know what he wanted with the Two of Swords. This connection was burdening as hell with the Ten of Wands. You were stressed the fuck out. And you felt burdened because you were the only one that was putting in the work. Yeah, your Divine Masculine cheated. You have the Five of Swords. But he's still holding on to you with the Four of Pentacles. Also with this Four of Pentacles, he was holding on to someone from his past. And it's also someone who's very stingy and doing the bare minimum. And he was also controlling. He blocked his emotions and feelings for you, Divine Feminines. He rejected you with the Five of Pentacles. And that's why you had to move the fuck on with the Chariot. Yeah, a lot of you had to go into Hermit mode and do some self-reflecting. And you had to find yourself again, Divine Feminines. This was very unbalanced with the Two of Pentacles being in the reversed. And with the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, there was definitely a third party situation. Yeah, the Eight of Wands, your Divine Masculine was communicating with other people. And you just got tired of fighting for this love with the Seven of Wands because he kept you in competition. And that's why you had to sever ties with the Ace of Swords. But now he's realizing that he made a mistake. You are the missing piece in his life. You're going to be getting an invitation from your Divine Masculine. There's some kind of message coming through here. And it's because he's realizing that he's in love with you. You have love struck. And I'm just seeing that your Divine Masculine is going through a period of self-actualization. He's starting to see that the people around him are fake. You have fake friend that came out. There was someone in your Divine Masculine's energy that did not want to see you guys together. And this person enabled your Divine Masculine to walk away from the connection. I keep seeing 333. Three, three. Maybe you guys have been seeing 333. Three, three. But that's definitely a third party situation. Maybe it was three people involved in your breakup. Which is why the tower and the judgment were the first two cards. Because that's telling me that your divine masculine is finally seeing these people for who they are. Because the moon is something that's hidden. The moon is deception. And things have come to light. And so that's why he's going through this transformation. So in the extended reading, I'm going to take a look at this invitation. What is this invitation about? I'm also going to take a look to see what is your Divine Masculine doing during this transformation. What are his thoughts and feelings about you right now, Divine Feminines? And will you two reconcile? And then we'll get some messages from Spirit. So if you guys would like to purchase the extended readings, it's for members only, but I'm offering a seven-day free trial, so you guys are free to check it out. But before we go, let's get some final messages from the Gateway Oracle. What final messages do you have for the Collective? You have renewing your life. I told you, I feel like both of you are renewing your life. Both of you are going through this transformation. You also have cherishing self. And I feel like this is you, Divine Feminines. You're focusing on you. You have taken back control of your life. And you're just doing things to make you happy. You also have healing the past. And I feel like that's both of you as well. You had a lot of cards on spirituality that came out. You had the hermit. You had the high priestess. You had temperance and you also had the star. So both of you are definitely healing the past. And the last card is coming into power. I step into my power boldly and confidently. I told you, you guys took your power back and you're making a lot of significant changes in your life. And at the bottom of the deck, you have starting fresh. A wonderful new beginning is blossoming in your life. For some of you, you are moving away from this connection. You also have the card that said new relationship. So some of you are in a new connection and a lot of you are wanting to start fresh with someone new. And for those of you who are wanting a reconciliation with the Divine Masculine, you're also wanting a new beginning because on this card, you have the yin and yang symbol. This is definitely a divine union and both of you are manifesting a fresh start. So let's take this into the extended reading and see how all this plays out. Please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so when I upload new content, you'll be notified. Have an awesome day. Love and lights always.